Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. Go play. Hey now, <laughs> you're a rock star. That's the song I'm hearing in today's message. So let's dive into it and say what we've got. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Wherever you are in the world, I'm on one. I for sure am. I'm on my second coffee and it is starting to kick in. It's a little late in the afternoon. Probably don't get to sleep tonight, but we're going to get a message today. I was feeling bright. Bright and early. Bright and early. I should probably put recording on my door <laughs> before I begin, but I didn't. All right, let's get into it. All Star is the name of the song. By the way, I looked it up before I started the video because I'm like, what? I didn't even know the lyrics. String. Because uh, I don't really listen to Smash Mouth, but I found out it was by Smash Mouth. Let's get into it. Before I read the lyrics, I want to pull up the song meaning. The meaning of All Star by Smash Mouth because the lyrics kind of confuse me. I may not even read the lyrics. If you want to, you can look it up. I'll try to remember to put it down in the comments, but this is the meaning, supposedly, per this article. He says the song is like a pep talk. Hang in there. You are the master of your own domain. You control your own ship. Ain't that the truth? Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. Go play. Get the show on. Get paid. I don't know the lyrics, but anyway, it's kind of like, keep going. You've got this. You've got this. I know I know you don't think you've got this, but trust me, you do. Isn't orange, what is it again? Let's look it up. Orange chakra color. The sacral chakra is the second chakra located lower abdomen. The pelvic area is the color orange. This chakra governs the experience for our lives through feelings and sensations. It's the center of emotion, pleasure, enjoyment, sensuality, intimacy, and connection. Oh. Wear it. Wear it, baby. Wear it well. You are an all-star. You're a rock star. You're a go-getter. You're a firecracker. You're a space-bound rocket ship. That's a song, too. I'm not going to sing that. Song by Eminem, space-bound rocket ship. You take my breath away, you're a supernova, and I'm space-bound rocket ship, and your heart's the moon. <gasps> oh my god, I have chills. That's just, okay, not only is this about pumping yourself up and feeling good about yourself, I feel like somebody really believes in someone here, no doubt. Straight up believes in someone. Why am I seeing Home Depot in my head? Maybe that means something for some of you. Something about Home Depot. Anyway, side note, uh, Squirrel. What was I saying? ADD. Mm -hmm. Someone really believes in somebody here. They, you know, they they believe in them. I don't know any other way to say it. It's like I really want you to know how much I see in you, how much of a how much I believe in you. You're a star, you're a rock star, you're great at what you do, whatever it is. Somebody just absolutely supports someone here. They are like, I couldn't do it without you, or maybe if it's not that, it's like you hold it down. You hold it down for your family, you hold it down for your team, your company, you hold it down for yourself, your children. And this is why I'm attracted to you. This is what makes me want you. And most people say orange is an unflattering color. Most people say don't wear orange. Don't do it. Maybe even someone here gives off the the energy of like stay away from me. Don't do it. I don't. I won't look good with you. I won't. I don't know. I, I get that vibe, right? Like, cause everything happens for a reason. There's a reason I chose this shit today. It's my dad's shirt. It's like not something that typically people want to wear. It's good for accents and things like that, like an accessory color, but not usually a main color, or is it? Maybe somebody that other people have slept on and kind of overlooked is actually like quite bright here, and it's like, no, we're not gonna sleep on them anymore. Someone really wants to put someone out there. They really want someone to be seen. They want someone to be seen for who they are. They want them to get noticed. They want them to be the star that they're supposed to be, something like that. This is not for everybody, but that's what I get. Or maybe this is someone who just really wants somebody that they believe in to stand up for themselves, to really go for it, what they want, whatever that is. Go for that main position, go for that promotion, go for that career path, start that channel, you know? Start that company, do what you wanna do, go after it, go back to school if you want to, learn that language, take that move, buy that home, take those steps, like, go for it, I really believe in you. That's the vibe, I, not only do I believe in you, but I have a lot of feelings for you, I have emotion for you, remember? the orange chakra. 
I just, maybe even someone wants someone to believe in themselves too, like you should believe in you. You're very bright. You wear it well. You're different, you stand out. What other people can't get away with pulling off, they can't pull off certain things, you can. You can, and you know why you can? Because you take the risk, you take the step, you go ahead and just do it, and if it doesn't work out, uh, you fall. And you deal with it, and you pick yourself up, and you dust yourself off and try again, Aaliyah. Right, you just keep going. And that's really sexy to me. I'm hearing day trader. I'm hearing a lot in this one. Stop it, spirit, I can't keep up. All right, you're distracting me. <laughs> Someone here is like, stay focused. Stay focused, go after it, I fully believe in you. Like, and it's really hot. It's hot that you are not afraid to do things that are outside of the box. It's hot that you are out there. You're so out there. Out there, something about out there, out of this world. I'm hearing outer space, <laughs> whatever that means. It's almost like you have this light around you, this energy and whoever this is, vice versa. This could be you who's, you feel this way for another, like, damn, you really stand out. <laughs> you, you're not afraid to do what other people wouldn't dare. You're not afraid to like go where nobody would dare go. You see a fence that says warning, stay out and you're like, shit <laughs> why why you know you don't let no hold you down or hold you back not for too long someone here is known to, to challenge the status quo basically and it's so damn sexy it's even inspiring to others it's like i want to go where no one's gone before because now you have gone there and now i want to go too it's kind of like the idea of if you were to take an early morning or a late night stroll in the woods you get that first hit of spider webs all over you. But the people who took the hike with you, they don't have to go through the spider webs because they hit you first. So it's like you may try things or put yourself out there and do specific some things first. And then once other people realize that, hey, you know, you caught the brunt. Oh, that was the other message. Maybe you caught the brunt of things or maybe it worked out for you. Maybe it ended up working out. A chance you've taken, risks you take end up working out for you in some way. No, some don't, but some do. And people are like, oh, wow, that's really, so you're like the light. Like if I was wearing this in the woods at night or early in the morning when it's still dark, you would see me. I would be able to lead you easily now. Ain't nobody in front of me. I gotta just gotta figure it out. <laughs> Get hit with all those cobwebs and shit. All those roadblocks, speed bumps, hurdles in my way. You know, some of you here are known to defeat and conquer any challenges and troubles that come your way or you find a way to like make something out of it and it's it's not everybody's idea, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea, it's not everybody's like way they would do things or go about it. You know, maybe they wouldn't care to wear orange either. You do it and it kind of makes it like stand out. Something you do stands out. It may even be something again that other people do, but it's like known to not be a favorable thing, right? Like something that some of you do is not known to, maybe you cuss and people are like, well, usually we don't like that, but it's like, who even invented the words? Like what fuck here? It's like, oh my God, they said fuck. But if I say that in another country and we don't even speak the same language, they may be like, oh, she's just saying a word. You know, it doesn't really hold as much. It's like, what does it even matter? You're like changing the way people view specific things that are usually like, I don't know, here taboo or usually like, oh, don't do that, don't say that, don't talk about that, don't, no, don't, don't wear that, don't be yourself, don't, 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 don't. And it's like, you're like, do, 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 do. You're like that kid that walks through all the puddles, your parents are like, don't you, don't. You got new shoes on. <laughs> like, don't you do it. I swear to God, don't. And you're like, stomp, you know, and all the water and mud splashes all over your new shoes and shit. Your socks, your clothes, you're filthy. You're not afraid to get dirty. You're not afraid to get dirty. You're not afraid to um, mm, do your own thing, follow your own path, and reap the rewards or repercussions from it. You know what I mean? Like you deal with both. And you're not afraid to. It's a little, it's a little out there. This do I not look out there right now? I feel like I stand out like a sore thumb. <laughs> 
it's a little out there. It's a little loud and uh, maybe even irritating, obnoxious at times, possibly, for some of you, vice versa. If you care about someone, you may find them like this, like, uh, I don't know, a little... But then at the same time, it's just intriguing. It's like, I love it, though. I love it. I don't want to look. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to look. It's hard to look away. I, lo I just look like a big-ass traffic cone, though, don't I? Maybe even some of you, the fact that you're not will you're that you are willing rather to put yourself out there to not be afraid to be different, it could also be what helps keep other people in line. Hmm. I don't know what that means. I could read into it, but I'm not getting anything. I was hoping closing my eyes would give me another vision. It's not coming through yet, but. Sometimes I feel like it could, somebody here can be a little, um, who they are can be a little scary for others because they are, or you, if this is you, someone here can be, they're just so confident and because they're so open and out there and not really afraid of shit, it, it's a little uneasy, unsettling for other people who kind of walk in the lines. You could even have people here who don't like some of you because you stand out, which that happens all the time. People who don't like you because you take these chances and risks and they may think, well, if I did that, I couldn't get away with it. That's not fair. And you're like, well, maybe you're not meant to though. Maybe you're meant to get away with something else. I don't know. But it's like, you could have people who, like they're off put or annoyed that, that you kind of come off so bright and that you stand out. Hey, now you're an all-star. They may even hate that other people lift you up. Some Somebody here could have some jealous people around them who don't like that other people do support them. They don't like that they are so bright. It irritates people's demons. The brighter someone is, the more chances they take, the more they're not afraid of shit. They long to not be afraid of shit. They long to be noticed for their individuality too, but they're so worried about you You know, I see a couple scenarios. I see the lovers and the haters, but I definitely do see a lover here. Somebody who highly admires an individual's uniqueness. Almost shamelessness. Yeah, I'm shameless. <laughs> That's the song. Yeah, I'm shameless song. Billy Joel, shameless. Well, I'm shameless when it comes to loving you. I'll do anything you want me to. I'd do anything at all. And I'm standing here for the world to see. Oh, shit. <laughs> there ain't much left of me that has very far to fall. You know I'm not a man who has ever been insecure about the world I've been living in. I don't break easy. I have my pride. But if you need to be satisfied, I'm shameless. <laughs> Baby, I don't have a prayer. Anytime I see you standing there, I go down on my knees. Ooh. Someone knows they're really fierce and strong, but they're almost like blinded by the fact that another person is just as strong as them, if not more. Like someone maybe even used to being an alpha. You know, this is definitely an, an alpha energy. Someone who... Yeah, they're used to being the strongest in the room. They're used to being the one that kind of maybe even feels out of place, feels like, you know, they can see things in their environment and other people aren't tuned into it, but then they've encountered you or vice versa, and it's like, oh, wait, what? Like, it's almost like meeting your match. I think someone's met their match here, and it's like super sexy it's super hot it's like two people who are just alike but they're but they're not it's like meeting someone who's just as motivated just as creative inspired just as driven as another individual meeting someone's match meeting their equal counterpart wow that's nice 
Someone here is, uh, feels they've met someone who's just like them or who's kind of a perfect match. They stand out. They're basically an all-star. They want this person to realize how incredible they are, how much they believe in them. In somebody's mind right now, basically, they're saying, I think we would be a great match. I think that we would fit perfectly. You really stand out. And I'm shameless. So, oh, shit. What do you mean, so what? <laughs> shameless in what way? I'm getting nervous. Let's read the lyrics more. And I'm changing. I swore I'd never compromise, but you convinced me otherwise. I'll do anything you please. You see, in my life, I've never found what I couldn't resist, what I couldn't turn down. I could walk away from anyone I ever knew, but I can't walk away from you? It's almost like someone's gonna put their, I'm hearing swords. Someone's gonna put their swords down and they're gonna like almost say, all right, fine. You win, like I can't resist you, I want you. You got me, got my attention, you got me, all right, fine. <laughs> all right, you win, it's almost like you win. You win, you won. You got me, you caught me. You can have me, <laughs> right? It's almost like admitting defeat, but it's not defeat in that way. Someone's just like, damn it, you did it. You did it, I found someone who finally did it. They got my attention, they... <laughs> If this is not someone telling another person that they feel it, or someone could be feeling that towards the divine, like, you did it. You finally did show me a person who could do it for me. But now what? It's like, now what? You're going to show me this person and then nothing happened with it? Or what's going to happen? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I could tell you guys, but Spirit's not telling me other than the fact that if someone's kind of giving in, I guess there's going to be action. Giving up and giving in are two different things. Someone's not giving up. <laughs> They're just giving in. They're surrendering to their feelings for someone. Either you are or someone's surrendering to their feelings for you. Shamelessly. So for it to be shamelessly, it must mean they have a level or they've had a level of shame like for some reason, they were trying not to do this, trying not to notice you, vice versa, trying not to feel anything, trying to let go of it, ignore you, move on, forget about it, forget about it, is what I'm hearing, forget about it. But now, it's kind of like they're, they're willing to take the shame Because they can't help it. They they really like legit <laughs> can't help it. And and it probably is a little irritating to someone here that they can't I can help falling in love with you. Take my hand. <laughs> well we got a lot of songs to end today's. You're so out there, out outer space. You just stand out from the crowd. I hear you stand out from the crowd. You've made your presence known. It's hard not to see you. It's hard not to, it's, it's impossible. Unless I'm hearing, I'm hearing someone thinking, now I don't know if they've told you this, vice versa, but someone's thinking like, it's impossible to not see you. Like, I don't, I don't understand how some people don't. You're like a hidden gem. Somebody feels as if another here is a hidden gem. It's just a matter of time before the right people get to them. Are they, they could be doing anything like, they could be making tons of money, something like that. Or you could be making tons of money. You're like a hidden gem. There's definitely a level of wanting to invest in someone here because it's worth the because they're so different. It would be like if someone was getting scouted, you know? Like, I don't know if they do this anymore, but if you're just walking in a mall or you're walking down the street somewhere and you have like an agent or a manager there and they scout you or they say, oh, hey, you know, 
invite you to their agency or something. Now, this is not everybody's story, but it's the idea of that. It's the idea of getting recognized. It could be in any way, though, you know, but I, I get that somebody feels another should be recognized or they will get recognized. And they always want to pick the ones that really stand out, that are different, that are unique, that they've not been seen really before in this way. I want the ones who are going to really make an impact and you're going to make an impact because you're very different. You're not afraid to do certain things. You stand out. You make a statement. If you think of clothing like a statement piece, a statement color. Like imagine me wearing this color to a wedding. I don't know why I'm seeing that. Like straight up waltzing into a wedding in this shirt. Just, hey, what's up guys? Here for the kick. <laughs> yeah, that's it. What, what else are you serving? I'm also hungry too, but I was a little afraid, you know. Cake or cake pops. I prefer the cake. I'll take both. <laughs> yeah, I so love it. Yeah, I so like you would stand out, you know. Usually people are mad if people wear white to a wedding, but if you waltz up in some fucking neon orange, just like a construction shirt, not even giving a shit, maybe some boots. Boots. Boots scooting boogie. People would be like, oh my god, you're trying to take attention away from the bride, and it's like, how? Look at me. You know what I mean? I think somebody Maybe even a person here who is shamelessly interested in another now, shamelessly uh, invested in another now, knowing who they want, knowing who they are going to offer something to, this person may notice other people around the one who stands out, who they have their eye on, and they may be like, damn, they're going to have a lot of people who are jealous of them because they are, like, someone sees another person's potential more than the own person themselves. That person may be very confident, they may believe in themselves, whether you or another, but they don't see fully like how incredible they are. And But another person does, and they also see that other people see it, and that other people are in competition with them, that other people don't mean them well, and that are jealous. So it makes them want them more because they're like, oh, you need, almost like you need to be protected, which we got in another message. Someone feeling like they need to protect another. Wow, this is kind of sexy. It's kind of sexy. You know what it kind of reminds me of? I mean, it doesn't, but it, I see it in my head, so I gotta say it. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Anna Nicole story, but um, uh, what was his name? I think he was her attorney, maybe, or her assistant. Whoever, I'm not saying he's a good man or bad, but it reminds me of that type of idea where it's like someone's bodyguard in a way, someone's bodyguard. Someone's defender, someone's protector is also going to be their lover. And maybe even their manager or maybe even be who connects them certain places. This is definitely specific. So not everybody's story, but you know, and if this isn't you watching, this could be someone connected to your energy. This is happening with them. They're getting recognized or maybe you're the one recognizing them. I don't know. It's like people sitting in a diner or a bar. I'm getting an idea here of this. And someone seeing the, the person and being like, oh, that's a star. That's an all-star. Get your game on. And they're like, I'm going to have to go see what their position is so that I can get in there first. Because maybe they're watching other people watch this person. And they're like, oh, they're in a grave deal of danger, darling, is what I'm hearing. They're in a grave deal of danger. Someone may realize that another person is in actually more danger than they are even aware of. They're surrounded by sharks, people who absolutely hate them. But they've watched this person so long that they're like, nah, I know why. And it makes me want to protect you, and now I'm in love with you. What? All right, guys, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you for being here. I'm going to go lay in the road now and hope to not get ran over. I feel like I fit right in with the cones. Talk to you later. Bye.